how much they would produce within the 750,000 kilowatt hours. And when we started calculating our consumption in the old buildings, we came to way more. So we knew for this building we had to, rate, to reduce the, uh, to reduce the uh, amount of power that we're using. So we looked at all the areas, lighting, IT, and we found specifically on IT that IT was by far the biggest consumer. Actually, if we would go with IT as it is at the moment, we'd consume something like the whole power of the whole roof and not have left anything else, just for IT itself. So we knew we had to reduce by at least two thirds that power. So we looked at two areas. The first area we looked at was the computers that we were using. HP and they helped us. We looked at more efficient computers. We have now green docking stations with software that automatically switches off, which use only a fraction of the power that we're using before the other. But the most important part was the IT backbone, the IT infrastructure, which you don't see as a user like me sitting and tapping behind my screen. That part was the server room. Our server room alone was using 600,000 kilowatt hours for cooling. Mind you, only for cooling. Hundred thousand dollars a year. So we said and we really need, need to do something, and luckily we we, we managed to get guys from Microsoft, Xavier, HP, and other actually other people to come and voluntary to help us, wanting to be part of this project of making a sustainable energy neutral building in Africa. And we put all our minds together, and it took like put it half a year minds together. We're very clever people. <laughs> what can we do to fit in that? All production for that solar system. One of the it's a puzzle. One of the pieces is this thing. What this thing does is it cools the service without using air conditioning. I told you we we're, we're spending for air conditioning in our uh, server room hundred thousand dollars in electricity bill a year. Almost we're using the power almost similar to the whole roof solar panels. So. With this thing, we need to estimate, but to find out, <laughs> but uh, we estimate we will use 90% less. It is only 10% of what we use in this thing. And how does it work? Well, I'm going to give you the dummy explanation, and then Marco is going to give you the expert explanation. But it's very simple. In here, or should I give you one more place? You go. You go. You're doing much, much better than what I can. In here, we don't have our servers. One is installed here. We should have how many? 46. 46. 46 U units. Units. Depending on how big they are. 46. And it's very simple. On that side, you can see it here. There are filters, but air is being sucked in. And you, the noise you hear there, you can see them, are fans. Just normal fans. Not air conditioning, normal fans. And they blow the wind out. And what they do basically, you can feel it here even, is make a wind flow, an airflow. An airflow of cool air that takes the heat all away and vents it out. In case the outer temperature goes above 32, 33, yes. something like this, yes. this filter also has a possibility to create what they call a water curtain. It starts dripping down water, which if the air passes through, it cools down. So if we go to really hot temperatures, which we don't get too much in Nairobi, we might even never use it. Or maybe like a few weeks ago when it was really hot, we get the hot temperatures, a evaporative system of water will kick in to make it even cooler. This is basically how it works, the way I understand it. Perfect. And that's Perfect. why we don't need air conditioning. If you go look at our present situation, we have these big air conditioners blowing 24 hours a day, many of them. You can just take a service there, here, for a fraction of the cooling costs that we have, we have improved. So we're very happy that we can work with them in partnership and even they could give it to us at no cost as a showcase. It's the first in Africa, Mr. Stein said that. And uh, it's part of the puzzle, it's not the only one. And all the other things, lighting, light wells, all together, we hope we have an energy neutral building. It's a, it is an important part and, uh, and we don't see how it works here. It's a bit of an experiment with Mr. Steiner, right? Yeah. yeah. At least for us. Yeah. So, if any more technical questions, Marco is, is, is the CEO of Xavier, the company who makes these. And Frank is from Microsoft, who has been designing this stuff. And together, basically, in a tripartite, we've worked on this to get where we are today, which is three days ago, this thing came from, uh, from a plane from Jomo Kenyatta. Any 
questions?